My name is Lester Holt Jr. and I am a senior transfer at Middle Tennessee State University. And I would like to share with you uh, my insights and my experience uh, um, staying at home due to the uh, coronavirus. I get up every morning, honestly, I uh, take a shower, brush my teeth, uh, read the Bible, play a video game a little bit, interact with family. Um, I do what I can to try to be occupied and try not to think about uh, what's going on, but it's hard not to because my part of my life involves being out in the real world, you know, just taking on uh, opportunities and trying to create um, big moments, you know. To be honest with you, uh, I didn't take the coronavirus serious at all when they first talked about it on the news. I honestly thought that it was just kind of like the flu, you know, easy to uh, get treat uh, to get treatment for. And after seeing how fast it spread it and how many lives it took, uh, my mind changed about it. It has affected. Uh, a lot of people as far as education goes financially um, uh, perhaps mentally and just in all aspects honestly uh, for education a lot of uh, just by everybody going from college all the way back to pre-k can't really like get that engagement with their teachers and have I'm not gonna say that you can't learn from home what you can, because that's called homeschool, but I'm just saying for those who enjoy or who get more experience uh, as far as going to school every day, they can't really enjoy it as of right now. Uh, financially, um, a lot of people have lost their jobs and it honestly has just been sad to watch. Um, for me personally, I'm lucky that I even have a job. Currently, I work at FedEx, which is one of the uh, fewer, fewer companies that um, is not closed, um, which is understandable because we need companies like FedEx to get stuff moving around. I'm big on the topic of abuse, not to say that I've currently been dealing with any abuse, but I know a lot of people who have used college, have used their jobs, and things like that to avoid staying at home dealing with abuse. So I can only imagine for those people to have nowhere to go and they have to deal with abusive uh, siblings or abusive parents. So I, my heart, you know, is deep um, for them as of right now. This is kind of like our, it's kind of like for this generation is a different version of 9-11. This is something that you will read about in history books when you were in class. And for me to personally witness or and actually be part of a historical uh, crucial moment, it's, it's, you know, it's really deep. I really can't wait for this virus to be over. Um, I hate it. I hate it a lot. Um, can't even really do what I really want to do anymore. But again, I'm taking my blessings still. I'm grateful to have clothes on my back. I'm grateful to be in a roof because there are people that are on the streets that don't even have a house to go to, don't have food. So I'm grateful that I have those two things. I'm grateful that I'm able to be with my family. Um, unlike some people that are still on college campuses that have nowhere to go because they stay far away from home or their home is out of the country. So um, I'm not gonna complain completely because I do have some things that a lot of people don't have as of right now. I'm leaving this all to God. I continue to read the Bible and just take one day at a time.